Hey y'all, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Crocktober. Today I am making cabbage with sausage and potatoes in the crock pot and it is absolutely delicious. Basically, you just set it and forget it. Welcome to my Southern Farm and Kitchen. So a lot of people think that you cannot cook cabbage in a crock pot. I've heard this many, many times and it's just not true. It just takes a little longer and it just depends on, you know, how, I don't know, what's the words I'm looking for? How soft, I guess, you want your cabbage. I actually like mine very, very soft and just cook it a little bit longer. And definitely cook it on high. So I'm going to start out here. I got one onion and I'll put the recipe down below. I've got one medium onion that I'm going to cut up. I got a couple of potatoes, a small head of cabbage, some sausage, some broth. It's going to work, I promise. A pinky promise. So this cabbage is pre-washed. I washed it when I got it. I'm going to go ahead and just take off some of these outer leaves just for giggles. This is a small head of cabbage and that's perfect for us. And I'm actually going to cut it very thin. But what a lot of people don't know is that I'm actually the daughter of a cabbage farmer. North Carolina cabbage farmer. Daddy raised cabbage for years and years and years. So if there's one thing I know, it's cabbage. I don't like slaw. I cannot help it. I don't like it. As a matter of fact, Daddy didn't either, so that's pretty good. But I do like cooked cabbage, and I like it a lot. So I'm going to take this small head here, and I've got the potatoes and the onions already in the crock pot. So I'm just going to thinly slice this guy up and put him in there and mix everything together. So Daddy would have used like a a farm fresh sausage or something such as that, even a like a smoked deer sausage. It venison's not my thing, but to each their own. If you're hunting to feed your family, I have no problem with that at all. If you're a poacher, I don't like you. I'll pray for you, but I don't like you. So I'm gonna cut this guy up. Typically, like for my beans and stuff like that, I wouldn't add the sausage right away but you kind of want to with the cabbage so I'm gonna slice this up and put that in there and I got some broth over here and some garlic and get that in there put it on high about six hours you'll be ready to eat all right y'all so get it all mixed in good get it incorporated and then put your lid on on high for six hours. Stir it after six hours and it should be ready to go. It is that easy. All right, y'all, so that's going to do it for another video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, y'all. And God bless.